Sura 20. Uh huh. And. Okay. In the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful. Bah. Not to sadden thee, we have sent down this Quran to thee. But as a warning for him who feareth, it is a missive from him who hath made the earth and the lofty heavens. The God of mercy sitteth upon his throne. His who whatsoever is in the heavens and whatsoever is in the earth and whatsoever is between them both and whatsoever is beneath the humid soil. Thou needest not raise thy voice, for he knoweth the secret whisper, and the yet more hidden God. There is no God but he, the most excellent, his titles. Now, that kind of confirms, going back, that uh, God doesn't sit on a throne in the way that a uh, human would. Um, that rose over, uh, established the throne, Astawa. Um, because remember, the uh, God's not like anything in anything, so. Hath the history of Moses reached thee, when he saw a fire, and said to his family, Tarry ye here, for I perceive a fire, happily I may bring you a brand from it, or find at the fire a guide. And when he came to it, he was called to, O oh, Moses, verily I am thy Lord, therefore pull off thy shoes, for thou art in the holy valley of Boa. And I have chosen thee, hearken then to what shall be revealed, verily I am God, there is no God but me, therefore worship me, and observe Ritual prayer for remembrance of me. Verily thou art coming, but I all but manifest it, that every soul may be recompensed for its labors. Nor let him who believeth not therein, and followeth his own lust, turn aside from thee, turn aside from this, and thou perish. Now what is in thy right hand, O Moses? And it's important to notice that uh, in that verse, uh, the Pua, Ka, Wa, Ka, Wow, Ya is uh, the same spelling of the Egyptian word meaning two lambs. Said he, It is my staff on which I lean and with which I beat down leaves for my sheep, and I have other uses for it. He said, Get down, O Moses. So he cast it down, and lo, it became a serpent that ran along. He said, Lay hold on it, and fear not to its former state. We will restore it. Now place thy right hand to thy armpit. It shall come forth white, but unhurt, another sign, that we may shew thee the greatest of our signs. Go to Pharaoh, for he hath burst all bounds. He said, O oh, my Lord, enlarge my breast for me, and make me work easy for and make my work easy for me, and loose my knot, uh, loose the knot of my tongue, that they may understand my speech, and give me a counselor from among my family. Aaron, my brother, by him gird up my loins, and make him a colleague in my work, that we may praise thee often, not remember thee, for thou regardest us. He said, O oh Moses, thou hast obtained thy suit. Already at another time have we shewed thee favor when we 
spake unto thy mother what was spoken, cast him into the ark, and cast him on the sea, you know, large body of water, and the sea shall throw him on the shore, and an enemy to me, and an enemy to him, shall take him up, and I made, and I myself have made thee an object of love. Um, spot up under my eye. I knew thee from love for me in order that thou might be brought up under my eye. Interesting idiom, considering the whole Egyptian thing, the 63, 64th fraction, that is that eye and eyelash and whatnot symbol. You know, the 64, everything else in the 63 parts, God, that sort of way of thinking. Um, so creation is the smallest fraction. Anyways, uh, where were we? That thou mightest be reared in my eye. Okay, so that one verse was, I thought it was separate. When thy sister went and said, Shall I shew thee one who will nurse him? And then we return thee to thy mother, that her eye may be cheered, and that she may not grieve. And when thou slewest the person, we delivered thee from trouble, and we tried thee with trial. For years didst thou stay among the people of Midian, and then camest thou hither by decree, O Moses, and I have chosen thee for myself. Go thou and thy brother with my signs, and be not slack to remember me. Go ye to Pharaoh, for he hath burst all bounds. But speak ye to him with gentle speech, haply he will reflect our fear. They said, O oh, our Lord, truly we fear, lest he break forth against us, or act with in exceeding injustice. He said, Fear ye not, for I am with you both. I will hearken, and I will behold. Go ye then to him, and say, Verily we are sent ones of thy Lord. Sent therefore the children of Israel with us, and vex them not. Now are we come to thee with signs from thy Lord, and peace shall be on him who followeth the right guidance. For now hath it been revealed to us that chastisement shall be on him who chargeth with falsehood, and turned him away, and said, who is your Lord, O Moses? He said, Our Lord is he who hath given everything its form, and then guideth it aright. But what said he was the state of generations past? He said, The knowledge thereof is with my Lord in the book of his decrees. My Lord erreth not, nor forgetteth. He hath spread the earth as a bed, and hath traced out paths for you therein, and hath sent down rain from heaven. And by it we bring forth the kinds of various herbs. He ye and feed your cattle of a truth in this are signs unto men endued with understanding. From it have we created you, and into it we will return you. And out of it will we bring you for the second time. And we shewed him all our signs, and but he treated them as falsehoods, and refused. He said, Hast thou come, O Moses, to drive us from our land by thine enchantments? 
Therefore will we assuredly confront thee with like enchantment, so appoint a meeting between us and you. We will not fail it, and do not thou in a place alike for both. We said on the feast day be your meeting, and in broad daylight let the people be assembled. And now is most likely the Pindushas, which is, um, you know, a month after the summer solstice, which is called Wahast. Or Kanwar is the, uh, a month from then. So, you know, about two months from the, uh, And Pharaoh turned away and collected his craftsmen and came, said Moses to them, Woe to you, devise not a lie against God, for then will he destroy you by a punishment. They who have lied have ever perished, and the magicians discussed their plan and spake apart in secret. They said, These two are surely sorcerers, Fain would they drive you from your land, and by their sorceries, and lead away in their paths your chiefest men. So muster your craft, and come in order, well this day shall it be for him, who shall gain the upper hand. They said, O oh Moses, wilt thou first cast down thy rod, or shall we be the first to cast? He said, Yes, cast ye down first, and lo, by their enchantment, their cores and rods seemed to him as if they ran. And Moses conceived a secret fear within him. We said, Fear not, for thou shalt be the utmost. Cast forth then what is in thy right hand, it shall swallow up what they have produced. They o have only produced the deceit of an enchanter, and come where he may, ill shall an enchanter fare. And the magicians fell down and worshipped. They said, We believe in the Lord of Aaron and Moses said pharaoh believe ye on him ere i give you leave he in sooth is your master who hath taught you magic i will therefore cut off your hands and your feet on opposite sides and i will crucify you on trunks of the palm and assuredly shall ye learn which of us is severest in punishing and who is more abiding and symbolically, we can kind of think of the uh, the cords, the uh, you know the flail and the rod as you know the uh, swords and the uh, wands, the uh, power and violence, and but you know the. They said, Will we not have more regard to thee than to the clear tokens which have come to us, or than to him who hath made us? Doom the doom thou wilt. Thou canst only, thou canst only doom as to this present life. Of a truth we have believed on the Lord that he may pardon us our sins and the sorcery to which thou hast forced us. For God is better and more abiding than thou. As for him who shall come before his Lord, laden with crime, for him verily is hell. That he shall not die in it, and he shall not live but he who shall come before him a believer with righteous works these the loftiest guards await them gardens of eden beneath whose trees the rivers flow therein shall they abide forever this the reward of him who hath been pure and you know 
So this coming to God, well, I am a sinner. Well, fine, you could have been a sinner in the past, but you come to God as a sinner. Yeah, well, you know. You know what's going to happen to the sinner. Come to God believing and trying to do the right thing. Different story. So which consciousness do you want to focus on? Gardens and of Eden, beneath whose trees the rivers flow, therein they shall abide forever. This the reward of him who hath been pure. Then revealed we to Moses, go forth by night with my servants, and cleave for them a dry path in the sea. Fear not thou to be overtaken, neither be thou afraid, and follow them with his host. And the whelming billows of the sea overwhelmed them, for Pharaoh misled his people and did not guide them. O children of Israel, we rescued you from your foes, and we appointed a meeting with you on the right side of the mountain, and we caused the manna and the quail to descend upon you. Eat said we of the good things with which we have supplied you, but without excess, lest my wrath fall upon you, for on whom my wrath doth fall, he perisheth outright. Surely, however, I will forgive him who turneth to God, and believeth, and work righteousness, and yieldeth to guidance. And... Mana, Almana, you know, Minhua, what is it, is what the word comes from. Eat of the good things which we have supplied you, but without excess, lest my wrath fall upon you, for on whom my wrath doth fall, he perisheth outright. Surely, however, I will forgive him who turneth to God and believeth and worketh righteousness and then yieldeth to guidance. But what hath hastened thee on apart from thy people, O Moses? And remember that bit in the Bible, the uh, people of Israel, the excess was, there were days where they, most days, they were not supposed to take more than they could eat. And when they did, it rotted, but, you know, if they were supposed to leave some, take a two days portion once a week, that survived, um, but that's the Bible, who knows if that's true, um, he said, they are hard on my footsteps, but to thee, O Lord, have I hastened, that thou mightest be well pleased with me. He said of a truth, now have we proved thy people, since thou didst leave them, and Samari. Samari is a uh, leader of the caravan in the Egyptian. Um, so, probably a group that was nearby that they joined in. Samari, yeah. And I'm gonna add a little bit of story. And Moses returned to his people, angered, sorrowful. He said, "O oh, my people, did your did not your Lord promise you a good promise? Was the time of my absence long to you? Are desired ye that wrath from your Lord should light upon you, that ye failed in your promise to me?" They said, Not of our own accord have we failed in the promise to thee, but we were made to bring loads of the people's trinkets, and we threw them, and Samari likewise cast them in, and brought forth to them a corporeal lowing calf, and they said, This is your Lord and the God of Moses, whom he hath forgotten. Now, he could have made a whistle or whatever, but uh, this kind of proves that we are allowed to learn about the evil magics. We're just not allowed to practice them or to take a share in them. Because we're definitely told about some things here. This is your God and the God of Moses, whom he hath forgotten. It's common law. 
that they would, you know, that he would say that. What saw they not in that it returned them no answer, and could neither hurt nor help them? And Aaron had before said to them, O oh, my people, by this calf ye are only proved, surely your Lord is the God of mercy. Follow me, therefore, and obey my bidding. And they said, We will not cease devotion to it till Moses come back to us. He said, O oh, Aaron, when thou sawest that they had gone astray, what hindered thee from following me? Hast thou then obeyed my command? He said, O oh, son of my mother, Seize me not by my beard, nor by my head. Indeed, I feared lest thou shouldst say, Thou hast rent the children of Israel asunder, and hast not observed my orders. He said, And what was thou motive, O Samari? He said, I saw what they saw not, so I took a handful of dust from the track of the messenger prophet and flung it for so my soul prompted me well the jinn and his soul i'm sure he said begone then verily thy doom even in this life shall be to say touch me not and there is a threat against thee which thou shalt not escape now looketh thy God, to which thou hast continued so devoted, we will surely burn it, and reduce it to ashes, which we will cast into the sea. Your God is God, besides whom there is no God. In his knowledge he embraceth all things. Thus, do we recite to thee histories of what passed of old, and from ourselves have we given thee admonition? Whoso shall turn aside from it shall verily carry a burden on the day of resurrection. Under it shall they remain in grievous in the day of resurrection. Shall it be to them to bear? On that day shall there be a blast on the trumpets, and we will gather the wicked together on the day on that day with laden eyes. Then ye shall say in a low voice one to another, Ye dare but ten days on earth, ye dare but ten. We are most knowing with respect to that when they will say, when the most voracious of them will say, Ye have not tarried above a day. And they will ask thee of the mountains, say, Scattering my Lord will scatter them in dust, and he will leave them a level plain. Thou shalt see in it no hollows or jilting hills. On that day shall men follow their summoner, he marches straight on, and lo, shall be their voices before the God of mercy, nor shalt thou hear but the light footfall. No intercession shall avail on that day, save his whom the God of mercy shall allow to intercede, and whose word shall he approve. He knoweth their future and their past, but in their own knowledge they comprehend it not. Yeah, the, you have not said except for ten, that's left blank, then others. 
and humble shall be their faces before him that liveth the self-subsisting and undone he who shall bear the burden of iniquity and he who shall have done the things that are right and is a believer shall fear neither wrong nor loss thus have we sent forth down to the in arabic Oron, and we have sent forth menaces therein diversely that haply they may fear god or that it may give birth to reflection in them um sort of a princess of disc sort of thing if you see the crowley deck it's like a circle of but it's this seed of reflection that changes in any ways something from art exalted then be god the king the truth be not hasty in its recital while the revelation of it to thee is incomplete say that rather O oh my lord increase knowledge unto me Rebel to me O oh my and of old we made a covenant with adam but he forgot it and we found no firmness in him and when we said to the angels fall down and prostrate towards adam they prostrated except iblis and we said o adam this truly is a foe to thee and to thy wife let him not therefore drive you out of the garden and ye become wretched for to thee is that thou shalt not hunger therein neither shalt thou be naked And that thou shalt not thirst therein, neither shalt thou parched with heat. But Satan whispered to him, said he, O oh, Adam, shall I show thee the, the tree of eternity, and the kingdom that faileth not? And they both ate thereof, and their nakedness appeared to them, and they began to sue with the leaves of the garden to cover them. And Adam disobeyed his lord and went astray. Afterwards his lord chose him for himself, and was turned towards him, and guided him, and said, Get ye all down hence, the one of you a foe to the other, 